All right, people, I'm back again. In this video, this is the last video in the installment. This is the third video of the trilogy of the VMA uh, 2009 review. Now, this is an overall recap of the show. Um, this is the what the fuck moments that happened. And, you know, some of the good stuff that I like about the show and everything. Now, Russell Brand hosted this year. I like Russell Brand. Like, I can get his comedy, and I think the accent adds to it because people don't get it here. I guess because I'm a well rounded person, I like all excuse me, I like all types of things. So I kinda I got it, you know. He wasn't I didn't see him that much on stage this year like how he was last year and he fits this year this year. But I I like Russell Brand's, you know, controversy comedy. I mean I think it's funny. But I would like for M T V to get Chris Rock back. Like M T V doing in New York again this year. They need to bring Chris Rock back. That would be so sick, so you know. Or at least another comedian, someone else, you know. But um, what else we got going on? Kanye was now Kanye got up on stage, snatched that mic from Taylor Swift, and said Beyonce's video was the best video, one of the best videos of this generation. And how could that video? How could you know Taylor Swift win? You know, I guess Kanye didn't get the memo that fans voted this year. But I do like Kanye's honesty though, because people give him so much flack for it. But if you go on blogs, go on websites, go on fan forums, look in comment sections on websites, people are saying the same thing about Kyle, uh, the same thing about Taylor Swift that Kanye said, but because Kanye said it, it's, it's a big deal. But people have been saying the same thing. I've said it before. Taylor Swift, her whole image is cute and everything, but it's boring after a while, and it's like, what's the, uh, what do people see in her like that? I really don't get it, you know? I like Car I like Carrie Underwood. If, if you come to country, I like Carrie Underwood better than I do like Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift just, I don't know, like, it's good to have a good image, but damn, too good of an image is like, it's boring, and I don't see, so I know all the, you know, YouTubers, if y'all know my little lingo, are going to go over to Walmart today and tomorrow and this whole week and go pick up all her CDs in the country music section. Y'all know how they do, but, um, but but Taylor do have a good she do have some good songs though so I gotta admit it, so she has a good look but you know further when her first VMA I mean it kind of it was kind of like oh you know this is your first VMA and then that happened and then you got performed right afterwards but here's why I look at it though this is the other side of me that's coming out right now Taylor could have finished her her whole thing. She could have finished her acceptance speech. She didn't have to just stand there and freeze. I mean, she could have just finished it. She toughed it out. Goodness. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. And Beyonce in the audience like, oh, Kanye, no, you know. But Kanye was going off the handy, though. He was the true epitome of the Jamie Foxx classic song right now, Blame It On the Alcohol, Blame It On the Henny, because dude was tore up. Like, he had the bottle on the red carpet. So if you would have saw that, then you know what it was. But, um, like, my... Like, bro got a picture of Kanye actually walking up on stage, and he got a picture of Lil Mama walking up on stage, too. But, um, Kanye, um, him and Amber Rose had to get escorted out, and he issued an apology after the show on his blog. And, his, like, his blog was so full of traffic that it was shut down for a little minute. But here's his apology, though. I'm so sorry to Taylor Swift and her fans and her mom. I spoke to her mother right after, and she said the same thing my mother would have said. She is very talented. I like the lyrics about being a cheerleader, and she's in the bleachers. I'm in the wrong for going on stage and taking away from her moment. Beyonce's video was the best of this decade. I'm sorry to my fans if I let you guys down. I'm sorry to my friends at MTV. I will apologize to Taylor tomorrow. Welcome to the real world. Everybody want to boo, boo me, but I'm a fan of real pop culture. No disrespect, but we watching the show at the crib right now because, well, you know. I'm still when I'm still happy for Taylor. Booyah. <laughs> you are very, very talented. I gave my awards to Outkast when they deserved it over me. That's what it is. I'm not crazy, y'all. I'm just real sorry for that. I'm really, I, I really feel bad for Taylor, and I'm sincerely sorry. Much respect. And I, I believe Kanye, too. Like, people got to realize, though, Kanye is that dude. Like, my friend, I was talking to her on Twitter, Divide, you know, she's a really cool person on Twitter, and, like, she was she was saying, she replied to my uh, Twitter, she was like, I was expecting people to feel bad for me, I was expecting to feel bad for myself, I didn't feel bad at all, she could have finished speaking, and she could have, and I didn't feel bad, too, a, a little while afterwards, I had to realize that Taylor could have finished her speech, she had to, you know, freeze and just, 
you know, I know it's a moment, but goodness, this is the entertainment industry. You expect this kind of stuff, especially when you're crossing over to MTV territory. You expect this kind of stuff, so you, you're not exempt from it at all. And, you know, it is what it is, though, and um, Kanye apologized, and he, but he's speaking true facts, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, Taylor's video was cute, but Beyonce did have a hot video. And the van, the fans, though, the Beyonce fans should have voted a little harder, so, you know, that's what it is. But enough about the Kanye thing, though. Um, Lil Mama, and I'm seeing Kanye, too. Like, Pink was talking some mess about him, and I told Pink on Twitter, you can kill yourself. And I told Fred Hilton that, too. B. Scott, for all people, B. Scott be hypocrite. It's hypocrite. Because he be talking about people so badly, but then... Can you talk about somebody and, oh, it's the end of the world, like, he's all of a sudden and everything like that. No disrespect to B. Scott because I do like your videos and everything, but you had to go at Kanye like that because I'm not, and I don't know Kanye, so I'm not defending him or nothing like that, but still, for you to talk about somebody all the time, why would you get upset when he talks about Taylor Swift? But you be talking about other people all the time, but just because someone else talks about someone else, you get upset. I don't get it, but it is what it is. Um, let me check my time real quick, people. All right, another F W T F moment that happened. Lil Mama getting up on stage. Lil Daddy did not have to get up on stage. Jay Z, I have a picture too. I'm gonna do some hot quotes on it, but Jay Z gave her that. But what the fuck are you doing up on this stage right now? He was trying to shoot her away. If you, from the crazy aspect of my mind, he was trying to shoot her away off the stage. But she just messed up the whole performance. Like it was already a great performance having Jay Z and Alicia on stage. Two people that really rep New York hard to the fullest and do it in a great way. And then had little Gremlin get up there, you know. And she's actually a trending topic on Twitter right now. I have a fun with it as well. Lil Mama is. So if you're on Twitter right now, go, you know, pound sign Lil Mama is. And just have fun with it because Lil Mama did not have to get up on stage. She didn't have to just walk her way up there with her City Trends outfit and Pay Half outfit and Miss Kim's beauty salon, you know, track weave in the back. Ponytail, like Lil Mama even looked the part, like she could at least look a little better than that. But I like Lil Mama though, but still, that it she just messed up the whole flow of it, you know. And you know, and I gotta go to this comment that, um, let me see if I can find it because people were talking about it too, and they're still talking about it right now. But, um, it was a quote that Carrie Hilson said, and she. You know, she really, here's what Carrie Hilson said, Lil Mama, now I know MTV feels like home, and New York is your hometown, but that stage, not so much. And Lil Mama didn't, she didn't have to get up there. She didn't have to. I'm just so stuck on stupid as to why she decided to jump up there. No one called you up there. But that's the only, first and only time on the VMA stage. Let's keep it real. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, let me check my time again. All right, so I got some fresh time. All right, but overall, the whole show, though, I liked it in New York. I always loved the VMAs in New York. The only other time I liked it outside of New York was, like, back in the day when they had it in Hollywood and L.A., but I didn't like last year's show. I think it could have had that award show feel to it, and it was just all over the place. And I know it's MTV style, but it was it was all over the place, though. It was just too much going on. It was extra, like Lady Gaga, like that would have been perfect for her. If she was would have performed last year, that would have been her perfect timing because it was on the Paramount lot and it was in a movie, it was on the movie studio lot, so everybody was everywhere. That would have been perfect for, you know, Lady Gaga last year. But, like, I was, this, this award show was still better than the BET Awards, and I was just like, right, two minutes before the show started, no, two minutes with the, into the show, I was like, MTV VMAs are always shitting on BET Awards tribute to Michael Jackson, and they did. But then, the niggas had to come out. Lil Mama and Kanye was just had to. They just had to have their moment. But, um, you know, it was, the whole show was still good, though. It was still great. It was better than last year. It was better than the year before. The only, and then, and, oh, the other award show that I did, like, when it was out of state was when it was in Miami the first year in 04. So I did like that, but... Um, what was that, what was that 04? No, it was 2005. No, it was 2004. It was 2004. And 2005 was a good one, too. But, um, yeah, MTV, stay in New York, please, at Radio City Music Hall. 
it would be so dope though if y'all go back to Metro Pound to Opera House next year. So please do that. But um, the PMAs were great this year. You know, not the one down. So the next major award show that I'll be talking about are the American Music Awards in November. So that's that. Have fun, everybody. Rate these videos. Leave comments. Peace.